Back now with Frankie Corrado. Frankie, thanks to the games in Europe, the NHL regular season is actually already underway. But before they drop the puck here in North America, we need your playoff predictions. Today, we're going to focus on the Western Conference. Give us the list of the eight teams that you think are going to make it to the playoffs in the West this year. All right, Gino, here we go. The Western Conference playoff team, starting with wild card number two, maybe an unpopular pick, but I have the Seattle Kraken. They've added Brandon Montour and Chandler Stevenson, two players that are going to help this team in a big way. They need help moving the puck out of their own zone, and Chandler Stevenson is going to alleviate some of the pressure that Matty Beneers faces as the number one center. I think both these players make a big difference. I have the Seattle Kraken at wild card two. Wild card number one, the Winnipeg Jets. Best defensive team in the NHL Whoa. last season. And even if that drops off a little bit, Gino, I still see them making the playoffs. Maybe they find a little more offense, but there's no way the Jets are not making the playoffs. Going to the Central Division. In third, the Nashville Predators. They've added all kinds of firepower. Andrew Brunette gets a lot of credit for the type of offensive play his team has. But last year, Nashville was really good defensively. As they add more firepower to that group, I think the Nashville Predators come in third in the Central. In second in the Central, the Colorado Avalanche. Looking at their roster right now, very top-heavy. You're not going to have Gabe Landeskog, Nachushkin, Lekkinen, but at some point, there are going to be reinforcements to that group. The Colorado Avalanche, I have them in second. And number one in the Central, the Dallas Stars. A complete team from top to bottom. If Jake Ottinger has a better regular season, I could see them winning this division going away. Now going to the Pacific Division in third, the Vegas Golden Knights. They don't have the depth and the skill lower in the lineup that they used to have, but still a really good team. And maybe the LA Kings taking a little bit of a drop off this season makes it easier for Vegas to finish in the top three spots in the division. Number two, the Vancouver Canucks. I'm not going to say no Demko, no problem. At some point, he's going to be back, and a lot of their playoff success will hinge on whether he's back. But Arthur Shilovs has looked really good. They're a pretty complete team. And as they have become accustomed to how Rick Tockett wants them to play, I like the way they've gelled as a unit. So I have them at second, taking a step back to the number one team in the Pacific Division, the Edmonton Oilers. What can you say about the Oilers that hasn't already been said, Gino, but a team with the two best players or two of the best players in the world in McDavid and Dreisaitl on the precipice of trying to win a championship. They've added some skill in the lineup, Jeff Skinner and Victor Arvidsson. The Edmonton Oilers are a well-built team, and they are trying to win a Stanley Cup sooner rather than later. I want to follow up on the all. Despite their brutal start last year, the Oilers not only recovered in time to make it to the postseason, they reached Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Final. So, let me ask you the question everyone's asking. Do you think the Oilers get back to the Stanley Cup Final again this year? I do, Gino, but one caveat there. There's going to have to be a significant improvement on the blue line. They're going to have to bring in a right shot, top four guy. So as teams fall off this year and we see who's going to be a contender, who's going to be a pretender, the Edmonton Oilers are going to have to evaluate and see who can fit that mold. Cody Ceci is gone. Say what you want about him, but the, he played a lot more better games than he did bad games for the Edmonton Oilers. They're going to have to find an upgrade on what he was if they want to get back to the Stanley Cup Finals, Gino. So just one change in those eight teams. There's a bet right now on FanDuel where you can take the exact eight teams that made the playoffs last year in the West again this year. The odds on that bet, 45 to 1. Thanks in large part to the incredible expectations, though, for the New Jersey Devils, that same bet in the Eastern Conference, 150 to 1.